Hello everyone and welcome to another X-Plane 11 tutorial. In this lesson, I will show you how to install the Zibble mod. Zibble what? If that's what you're thinking, don't worry, because by the end of this video, you'll be wearing the Zibble mod t-shirt with the rest of us. Zibble mod is a completely revamped version of the default Boeing 737 that ships with X-Plane 11. It has features such as automatic landing, a new flight management computer, and every single aspect of the aircraft can be controlled by an onboard tablet. And what makes it even better is if you happen to find a feature that it's lacking, I haven't yet, chances are if you post about it in the forms, it'll be added in an upcoming release. And when you pair this aircraft with some additional plugins, it makes your experience even more enjoyable. Enough with the chit chat, let's get on to installing the Zibble mod. The first step to installing the Zibble mod is to fly over to the X-Plane forums and locate the Zibble mod thread. I have it on the screen. Don't worry about copy and pasting the link. I will share all the links in the description of this video. If we scroll to the middle of the page, you'll see all the releases of the Zibble mod. We can see that 3.30 is a hotfix. It's the latest release and it fixes a crash on Mac OS and Linux. So pay attention to this section often Maybe there's a fix you're looking for, maybe there's a feature you're looking for. When you find it on here, you'll want to go and download the latest version of the Zibble mod. We'll scroll all the way down to the bottom here, and we have the download links. If you happen to use this aircraft quite frequently, it might be worthwhile to send a few coins at Zibbo. Zibbo updates this aircraft quite frequently, and it's definitely worth it. The next thing that you'll want to do is to go over here to the Google Drive, and this contains all the files to install the Zibbo mod. So I have it on the screen now, and you'll see that there's quite a few files and folders in this particular Google Drive. The two files that you're going to want to focus on is this one over here, this folder called the B737-800X folder. You're going to want to download that. And you're going to want to find the latest release of the Zibbo mod. And that was on the website we noticed was 3.30G2. So we'll download both of these particular files. Now we'll download a couple extra plugins that make the Zibbo mod experience even better. These are optional and are totally up to you. The first thing is called Terrain Radar and Vertical Situation Display. And what it does, it adds the terrain onto your vertical situation display. If that's a feature that you're really looking for, you're going to want to come down over here to download this file. The next one is called AVI Tab. It's a VR compatible tablet. It lets you look at airport charts that you have downloaded in PDF. It has a moving map and it lets you fully configure every aspect of the Zibbo Mod aircraft. So again, if this is something that you're looking for, select download this file. Lastly, we move to a plugin that's not on the X-Plane forms, but on GitHub and it's called Better Pushback. This is an absolute amazing plugin. I'm sure a lot of you have sat there in your aircraft trying to figure out do I push back to the left, to the right, to straight, and it still doesn't work. Better Pushback integrates completely with the Zibbo mod and provides you a GUI and you can drag and drop where your aircraft should be. So if that's a plugin that you would like, feel free to also download the Better Pushback mod. Now that you have all these downloaded, Let's walk through the extraction of these and copying them into the X-Plane 11 folder. I have the File Explorer open in Windows 10 and all the downloads ready to go. You'll see here I have the AVI tab, I have Better Pushback, Terrain Radar, and three files for the Zibbo mod. You could be asking, I'm pretty sure you only recommended two, so why do we have three downloaded? That's a feature of the Google Drive. So if the files or folder that you're downloading is too big, Google Drive will split it up into smaller files, as we see here. So don't worry about if you only have two, three, or you have more. The process to install the Zibbo mod is going to be the same. First, we'll go inside the first file, 001, and we see the B737-800X folder. We're going to right-click and go Copy. And I'm just going to go back into my Downloads folder and paste it right in here. So this way we don't have to move around between our X-Plane Install folder and our Downloads folder. We're going to want to wait for this to finish. Now that it's finished, let's go into the second file. We'll right-click and go Copy. Go back to the Downloads. 
and paste it again. Now I know you're saying, well, isn't that the same folder? Won't it re override or replace the files? Google Drive was smart enough to split things into two separate um, files that don't uh, replace anything. So you don't have to worry about that. So there we go. And now we'll go into the last file, which contains basically the updates to that base folder of the Zillow mod. So we'll go inside to here, select everything that's in that folder. We'll go back to the downloads, but this time we'll jump inside the B737 folder and paste them directly inside here. Now it notices that there's files that already exist with the same name. Because we're replacing those files with newer versions, we'll select replace the files in the destination. And that's all there is to it. So now the Zibble Mod aircraft is ready to go. So let's go ahead and right click, cut it. I'm going to move to my X-Plane install folder up here. We'll go inside the aircraft folder and I'll right click and I'll paste it in there. Now that will take some time to complete. So while that's copying over, let's go ahead and set up the plugins that we downloaded as well. So back to the downloads folder we go. Let's go into the AVI tab folder. We right click on the folder. We go copy. We'll go back to downloads and paste that in there. Now we'll go into better pushback. Right click on the folder, go copy. We'll go back to downloads. We'll paste that here. And lastly, we'll go into terrain radar. Right click on the folder, copy, back to downloads, and we'll paste it here. Now you could do this manually one at a time inside your X-Plane folder. I just find it a lot easier to do everything together in one time. So now that this is set up, we'll select our three folders, right click and go cut. We'll go back to our X-Plane 11 folder. This time we're going to go into the resources folder. We're going to go into plugins and we're going to paste those three folders in here. Now that that has completed, we'll launch X-Plane 11 and we'll make sure that everything installed correctly. Now that we're inside X-Plane, we'll go ahead and select new flight. And we can see that we have two Boeing 737-800s. We have the one on the left here and the one on the right. So one of the ways that we can tell which one's which is that we recall that the download from Google Drive had the X at the end. So chances are that this is it. The other way is to hover over the particular aircraft. And you can see it's in a aircraft slash B737-800X folder. And if I go over to the other one, it's in a laminar research folder. So I know this is the default aircraft and this one over here is the Zibble mod. So we'll select the Zibble mod. If I go to customize, there's different liveries over here that I can select. Uh, I can also download more from the forms. So for now, let's just jump into one of the airports and start a flight and have a quick look at the Zibble mod. We're inside the Zibble mod aircraft and let's check that the plugins loaded. The first thing we're going to look at here is the terrain radar button. If I click on it, we can see the terrain is starting to load. So we know that that particular plugin is working. If we go over here to the left hand side, we see our tablet. So that means the AVI tab uh, is working. And if we go over here to ground services, we see that better pushback has been installed and activated. So that's it for this particular video on installing the Zibble mod. Expect another video in the next few weeks walking you through every step of how to get started with Zibble Mod, including the flight management computer and so much more. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe and comment in the box below of any future videos that you would like to see.